Hey, I'm Mark Toriello. I am 24 years old and I am a fashion designer and photographer from Irvington, New Jersey. Describe your fashion journey. Oh, my fashion journey, that's a good question. Um, it's, it's really weird, okay. Let's say it started when I was in high school because I was a punk rocker. So I would get like clothes from thrift shops and garbage, and I don't know, like, I would just get clothes from everywhere and I would alter them. So I would like sew zippers on them, add studs, I would take them in to be skin tight. So that's where I kind of um, learned how to sew. I'm a self-taught designer, so I learned how to sew from all of that and how to like work with fabric and cut. Um, and then when I was in college, I studied art and I knew I wanted to move forward into fashion and I was always inspired by a lot of the designs um, and clothing from like a lot of science fiction and horror movies. So basically, um, I don't know, I kind of fused art and fashion together when I was in college and that's how I created these like avant-garde wearable sculptures and, and I've been photographing it so it's been a weird journey. Who is Mark Toriello? Who is Mark Toriello? Um, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, he's... Uh, no one ever asked me that before, that's such that's a, a good, question. good question. Who is Mark Toriello? Um, well I know the Mark Toriello kind of person is someone that is not afraid to take risks, someone that loves print and color but still has a dark side to them. Uh, Mark Toriello kind of person is someone that works their ass off for what they want and, you know, nothing has really been handed to them. And, you know, that's, to me, like, just anyone that's cool and just natural and likes people and, I know, they stay true to themselves. That's a Mark Toriello. Now, can you describe this fabulous collection? I see a lot of scary stuff. Okay. Please describe. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I guess I'll start with this gem here. Um, so the inspiration for my collection it was really two different sources. There was um, VHS cinema, like car movies from the '80s. So a lot of like your Nightmare on Elm Street or Slumber Party Massacre or Friday the Thirteenth films. Um, mostly because I was always intrigued by the cover art and I know that VHS is like a dead phenomenon, it's a dead culture, uh, you know, with Netflix and DVDs and Blu-ray. Um, they just don't make video art like they used to. So um, my collection is to kind of embrace that, that dead form of art and to kind of create a new wave of um, VHS. So I wanted to fuse that into fashion. Also too, um, in the 80s, horror film Genre. There's a lot of color and a lot of um, art concepts and I mean if you look at like, I don't know, um, the aliens from the alien film, they're very sculptural and if you look at the TV covers in the Iron Elm Street series, they're very colorful. Um, so again, I took their imagery, kaleidoscoped them onto fabrics, um, created collage and had it printed on fabrics and I created clothing. Now the second inspiration was new age music from the 80s, so I wanted to create clothing that you would see like Debbie Harry performing um, when she was in Blondie. Now tell us about this bag and how you go about making your props and how they come about and okay. your necklace too. Okay, um, my necklace, um, and this I've had since high school. This jacket I've had since high school, so we're talking Ooh. like a decade now. Like, this is like molded to my skin. Uh, wow. So I mean like, there's like all sorts of like badges and patches and stuff that I've like earned. And, I don't even want to say earn it, I like bought it, but it sounds cooler if we say yeah, earn. Definitely um, oh, Yeah, well there used to be a lot more, but uh, you know, I had to put it down a little bit. But, um, oh what's the question again? Oh, your props. Oh, the props. Okay, so oh yeah, the, um, the VHS collection. So again, um, like I said, VHS is dead, and um, when you would rent movies, you would actually physically take a VHS cassette and drop it in the drop box. No one does that anymore, that's a dying action, like no one will ever do that again. So I wanted to bring back that action into fashion. So I took old VHS rental boxes, those plastic ones, um, that you know you would have the cassette in, and I actually cut up 
um, VHS boxes that I collected when I was a child um, and put them in here. So again, like this is like Friday the 13th part five and you know, it's a hockey mask with a laser beam shooting out of it. Like how more Toriello is that? Definitely more. So, I mean, it's kind of like, I, I didn't have the heart to throw away my VHS collection because I was raised on horror films and on those VHS cassettes alone. So it's kind of my way of morphing it into something new. So that way it wouldn't collect dust and just, you know, be thrown out one day. That would like break my heart. Um, and the chain, I mean, it's an industrial chain from Home Depot and you know, it's more like a conceptual piece, but I could see someone like going out on the I town. I probably wear that as an accessory with the right look. Okay, <laughs> yeah. You know, I think anyone could really do this. So um, it seems like you really like the 80s. Yes. Why the 80s? Ah, uh, it's, I love it. It's such a, during the 80s, I noticed people were so bold and experimental and they tried new things. Uh, I mean, women did their makeup like crazy, and they teased their hair out, and in all the music videos, there's always like a fog machine and neon lights, and you know, again, it's such a colorful era, and there's such great music, like, I love Depeche Mode and New Order, and those are the kinds of bands that inspire me, those are the people I would love to design for, if I could go back in time and design for Blondie when she was in her prime, I would do it. And I would do it now, she's like 80, I just saw her in concert, and she's like, yeah, she is like phenomenal. I would design for her, but yeah. Well, that is a great segue because my next question is who are your favorite designers? Why are you not in Okay, I guess I'll do designers first. Um, there's one designer named Sally LaPointe, and she is definitely more up and coming, and she's shown at Fashion Week in New York a few times. Uh, her aesthetic is very like dark and gothic, but with a little futuristic twist. And I love Pierre Cardin. He is a um, designer from the 60s. So he did all the space age stuff. So anything that you would see in the 60s that was like a helmet or geometric, that was Pierre Cardin. Um, I also, I mean, I love Versace. Like that's contemporary. And I know that's more of a label, but I love the runway collections. Um, who are my favorite photographers? Um, I like mostly art photographers more than fashion photographers. Um, so right now I'm really into this artist, his name is Gursky, and he takes pictures of huge spaces that are very like commercialized, so it would be like a supermarket and all of the aisles with the colors and the different like colors and produce. And he'll do like huge empty parking lots or parking lots full of cars where you can see all the colors. So right now I'm like huge into Gursky. Um, well shooting here, it was... I was a little um, nervous at first because I've never shot here before and I'm using equipment that I've never used. Like I got a light kit that I never really got to test out and I bought a fog machine that I've never, and I played with it in my room. So working here was like a really great experience because I had no limitations on my creativity and everyone here had been like so supportive and I don't know, like I just felt like welcomed in home, like at home. and. I'm, you know, I'm making people wear like VHS goggles and no one looked at me like I had two hats. Yeah. So, it was great. I think it's a great place. Describe the energy in the valley and this whole atmosphere. Well, it's, I feel like everyone feeds off of each other. It's definitely like, it's a community to me. I see it as a community and I like how everyone like knows each other and this is a great, creative ground that is within like walking distance of so many people and art is dying like people need to be able to make art and to learn about it and to experience it I think it's really important for like development I mean I was an art major in college so of course I'm gonna be like art, 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 art. but um, no I mean like I, I wish that I had something like this growing up you know and unfortunately I didn't but it's glad I'm glad to see that something like this is functioning in, in New Jersey. Yeah. And I'm off to the road.